We're getting you ready for a beautiful day. We have tons of sunshine for you. You need the sunglasses today, but guess what? You also need that heavy coat. So morning temperatures were in the mid to upper 20s and low 30s and highs today are going to be in the upper 40s. So beautiful, but certainly chilly. High pressure doing us some favors, keeping all those clouds out of our way. It is just going to be the sunshine, but then tonight we'll be back down into the 30s. Baltimore County police say they're seeing a rise in thieves targeting Asian American business owners. Amy Kawada tells us how local business owners are protecting themselves and their employees. Police are urging business owners to remain vigilant as there's no clear reason why our Asian American community is being targeted. Investigators say these thieves who are likely part of organized crime groups are breaking into business owners homes, stealing cash and other belongings. Sometimes criminals will go so far to break into the business owners car to find out where they live. Other times the burglars will follow their victim home from work. Police say if you notice anything suspicious, call 911. They're also recommending installing alarm systems, surveillance cameras, and motion sensors on or around your home and business. And make sure your car is locked at all times. For now, reporting for WJZ, I'm Amy Kawada. A new multi-billion dollar investment plan aims to deal with the vacant housing problem in Baltimore City. Alexis Davila has the details. Alexis. Yeah, this is an issue that's plagued the city for decades, and now this new investment plan aims to fight blight and tackle these vacant homes over the next 15 years. Now, Mayor Brandon Scott, along with, with business and faith leaders, say that $3 billion of public and private funding will be invested to tackle vacant properties. The plan is to address as many as 45,000 properties, but currently there are more than 13,600 vacant homes across Baltimore. Thousands of homes are at greater risk, however, of this vacancy by simply just being next door to a vacant home. That's why this time the approach is to tackle this as whole blocks. Now, there is no timeline on this just yet, but the next step here is to discuss this plan with Governor Westmore. Reporting live, I'm Alexis Davila for WJZ. Thank you, Alexis. Baltimore police have arrested the suspect they believe shot and killed a man at a bus stop. 28-year-old Traymon Hughes Bolware is accused of killing 69-year-old Anton Cancier on December 2nd at a bus stop on Edmondson Avenue near Wildwood Parkway. He is charged with first-degree murder.